The sun is about 400 times bigger than the moon. The moon's orbit is actually not a perfect circle. It's in the shape of an ellipse. When it's closest to the Earth, we call it perigee. When it's farthest away from the Earth, we call it apogee. It's only a small difference, but it's enough to cause the moon to grow and shrink as seen from the Earth. Each time a new moon happens, there's a chance that the moon will block the sunlight and cause a shadow to appear on a portion of the Earth. When this happens, it's called a solar eclipse. The reverse can also happen. Each time we have a full moon, there's a chance that the Earth will block the sunlight from reaching the moon. We call this a lunar eclipse. So now the question is, why don't we get a solar eclipse and a lunar eclipse every month? As the Earth orbits around the Sun, we can map out a 2D plane that's referred to as the ecliptic. The Moon doesn't orbit on the same plane. It's tilted by about 5 degrees. This means that most of the time, the Moon passes above or below the Sun as seen from the Earth. We can map out two invisible points in space at which the Moon's orbit crosses the ecliptic. We call these the lunar nodes. When they line up with the Sun, Earth, and Moon, that's when a solar eclipse or lunar eclipse will occur. This is referred to as an eclipse season. These happen about twice a year. During an eclipse season, there's no guarantee that you'll be able to see anything. In the case of a solar eclipse, the Moon may pass slightly above or below the Sun and give us a partial solar eclipse. This won't really dim the sunlight enough for us to see it. When the Moon entirely crosses the Sun, we will be able to see it. If the Moon is closer to apogee, then it will appear smaller and we'll get what's called an annular solar eclipse. If the Moon is closer to perigee, then it will appear bigger and we'll get what's called a total solar eclipse. Even if you're lucky enough to be on the right spot on the Earth, the longest you'll be able to see a solar eclipse is about 7 minutes. You'll need to be under the umbra, which is the darkest part of the moon's shadow. Beyond the Stars, subscribe now!